In this problem, we are told that a car is moving up a hill at 40 kilometers per hour, and then it moves back down the hill at 60 kilometers per hour. We are asked to find the average speed for the round trip. Now, an immediate impulse might be to simply add the two velocities together and then divide them by two, since that's generally how we take the average of multiple numbers. However, that doesn't apply in this case. Because we are moving along the same distance, but one of our velocities is slower than the other, uh, for example, we're going up the hill at 40 kilometers, so more slowly than down the hill at 60 kilometers, that means that overall we are spending more time moving up the hill than we are moving down the hill, meaning our actual average velocity uh, for the entire round trip will be closer to 40 than it will be to 60. So this method of finding the average speed is not going to be reliable. Instead, we'll have to turn to our average speed formula, which states that the average speed over a certain distance, uh, over a certain period of time, will be equal to that distance divided by the total time that has elapsed throughout the motion. In this case, our distance refers to the car moving up the hill and moving back down the hill. So I have defined a new variable, capital D, which I have set to be the distance both up and down the hill because it is going to be equal in both the directions. So in this case, our total distance throughout the motion is going to be equal to 2 times capital D, since the car is moving through the same distance twice. We also need to find the time throughout the entire motion of the car. Now, as I explained earlier, the car is going to be spending more time moving up the hill than it will be moving down the hill, so we will have to find uh, different times for each segment of the motion. So, for example, we'll have to find uh, t sub up, the amount of time it takes for the car to move up the hill, and sum it with t sub down, the time it will take for the car to move back down the hill. Now, as we have demonstrated in previous problems, the time it takes for a motion to take place is equal to the distance it's traveling divided by the speed or the velocity that it took to get there. So let's apply that to both of the components of our time in the motion. In this case, a t sub up, the time it takes for the car to move up the hill, is going to be equal to uh, capital D, the distance that it travels going up the hill, divided by V sub up, or the speed of the car as it moves up the hill, uh, plus the same sort of idea, D, the distance it takes to move down the hill, divided by V sub down, the time it takes, or the, the speed at which the car travels down the hill. As we can see from our formula now, all of these capital D's should cancel out, since they are everywhere in the denominator and in the numerator. So now the D's disappear, and we are only left with variables that we have, because we have, as given to us by the problem, the speed of the car as it moves both up the hill and down the hill, as 40 kilometers per hour and 60 kilometers per hour. So I have substituted in those values into our new formula here. And plugging this into our calculators, we get an average speed of exactly 48 kilometers per hour. And that is our average speed for the entire round trip.